before this video starts guys we're hosting a giveaway for two lifetime synapse x keys now synapse x is one of the best paid executors out there so if you do want a chance to win of course just head down into the description below where you'll find a link to our discord server once you do join the discord server head over to the verified channel once you're into the verified channel go ahead and click on this button right here which says click to verify and that will give you the verified role then you can head down into the giveaways channel and you'll see the two giveaways right here now of course if you're subscribed to the channel you will be able to enter the bottom giveaway right here but if you do want to increase your chances of winning then you can boost the server so if you do have nitro you can simply boost the server and of course you will be able to enter the giveaway on top as well so good luck to everyone that does enter the giveaway now let's get back into the video hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video this video is going to be slightly different from what you might be used to on this channel this isn't an executor showcase nor a script showcase this is simply for those of you that are new to exploiting on roblox and you want a detailed breakdown of how everything works so i will be covering a lot of things in this video so make sure you watch to the very end you don't skip any steps it is really important because if you do skip anything then you might not set everything up uh, and you might have to start all over again so um, in this video i will be covering how to set up the executors how to inject into the game how to execute scripts uh, as well as how to get scripts how to use scripts and explaining what scripts are um, and of course i will also be covering any errors that you might face along the way and how to fix those errors and i will also explain how you can um, add the executor into your exclusions so your PC doesn't delete the executor every time you restart your PC, for example. Now, let's get started. So down in the description below, I will have three links. And these files are really important. So make sure you download all three of them. So I've got those files right here. Uh, I will leave a different link for all of them that you will find in, in the description below. Um, the very first thing will be WinRAR. Now I already have WinRAR installed on the computer, but I will go ahead and show you how it works. So you simply want to go ahead and double click it and go into install. Once you do click install, you're just going to click on OK and done. It will open up a folder. You can just close out of that folder. And WinRAR is basically a program that you can extract files with. So if you do download an executor from my channel, for example, uh, most of them will be in a WinRAR file uh, or a .raw uh, file format. So it's really important that you do have WinRAR, it's completely free uh, and of course you will find it in the description below. Once you do have WinRAR installed, up next you're going to need to set up DirectX. So again, the link to it will be in the description below. Go ahead and double click it and just click on I accept the agreement. Click next. You can uncheck this if you don't want the Bing browser or the Bing uh, extension. Then go ahead and click on next and that will start the download for you. I already have it installed on my PC. So it will simply tell me that I don't need to install it. But this is pretty much how it works. Uh, and then it will start the download and then you can simply click finish. Once you do that, you can restart your computer and then proceed on to the next step. The next thing you will need is Visual C. So all of these um, will need to be installed. Now you can simply go ahead and open the .bat file on the top and then that will start the download for all of them. It might ask you to agree every time it starts a new download for each of these. Uh, and you can just simply click on yes and then it will start the next one so you can see it's installing all of these now again i already have all of these installed uh, on my computer um, but i'm just doing it for the sake of this video and once you have all three of these things installed only then can you move on to the next step okay so the next thing that you need to do of course would be to close out of all of these make sure you restart your pc once you have installed all three of these uh, and then go down into your search box so it's really important to be on windows 10 or 11 because that's where most of the executors work it doesn't matter what version of windows 10 or 11 you're on so for example this is going to be my windows 11 version right here uh, so i'm on version 21 h2 but it doesn't really matter okay as long as you're on windows 10 or 11 this will work for you so once you're uh, completely set up with everything um, then simply go down into the search thing right here if you on Windows 10 it will be in the corner over there once you're in here just simply go ahead and type in virus and threat protection and go ahead and open that up now if on the top it says something along the lines of um, this program is managed by another organization 
or something along those lines then you need to go down in uh, in the search again and search control panel go into uninstall a program and then you need to look through all of the programs that you have installed on your computer and you need to find what may be the other antivirus because we're pretty much trying to turn off the antivirus because that's needed it's necessary if you do want to use an executor so if you don't have uh if you can't see the same page as me over here and it says something like it's managed by another organization then you need to find the other antivirus that you have on your computer uh, and right click it and click on uninstall uh, of course you can also disable the antivirus if you know how to do that um, but that, that is the other step that you can also do which is pretty much uninstalling the antivirus uh, and then that will allow you to proceed onto this step now if you do see something like what i've currently got on the screen then just go ahead and click on manage settings and make sure you turn off real-time protection okay it will ask you to approve it simply go ahead and click on yes and we will be able to turn this on later on okay but when you do set up an executor it is really important that you turn off real-time protection because executors modify your roblox files or they inject into your roblox application and because of that um, your computer automatically gets rid of it and it thinks it's a virus okay if a virus pop-up um, kind of comes up on your screen once you do have this on then that simply means that your computer removed the executor it's not actually a virus okay so once you do have real-time protection turned off then you are ready to download an executor so let's go ahead and move on to that step now all right guys once you head over to the link that you will find in the description it will be a link to my website over here you will find a list of all of the videos that i have uploaded um there will be many more maybe by the time that you're watching this it depends on how old the current video is um, but you can pretty much see a lot of different scripts and executors here. So what you want to do is simply go over to the search box. Go ahead and give it a click. If it does open up an ad, as you can see, it opened up a new tab. Go ahead and cr cross out of that and go into search again. It might open up two ads. Um, and there we go. So simply go ahead and search an executor. Um, again, if an ad opens, go ahead and close out of that. Um, once you do search executor, you just want to find an executor that you like. So for example, if I want to go into this executor right here, I click on download now and you will get the download link right here. And of course, if you want to watch the video on the executor, you want to just click on this uh, URL right here, um, which will take you to that video. Um, and this is, of course, the download link. You just click on this and it will take you to the download steps. If I do click on it and it opens up a new ad, for example, I can close out of that until it takes me to the proper download page like this. So that's pretty much how you get executors. Um, and it's pretty much the exact same thing for scripts. OK, so executors are something that you need that inject into Roblox in order to allow you to execute some commands. So the commands would be the scripts. So the scripts tell the game how you want the game to be modified. Uh, in order to give you an advantage for example okay so now let's go ahead and search in scripts for example and you can see a bunch of different scripts over here as well so if you was to take the phantom forces script i'll go ahead and click over there and then again this is the script download once you do click on here it will go ahead and take you to an ad which you want to close out of and then when you do open it again it will take you to the download page and of course you can just follow the steps over here click on over here and then continue if it asks you to download something you can go ahead and download that and it will of course give you the download link um and then you will get the script okay so the script will be like a text file that you can copy and put into your executor and that's how you pretty much execute scripts okay so now let's get into an example of how you would use an executor and a script in a real situation okay so let's go ahead and do that all right here we go so when it comes to using an executor um, and you get loaded into the game just like this um, what you want to do firstly is attach the executor okay so that will link your executor to the game so make sure you're into a game first okay and you need to make sure that you're into a game on the browser version of roblox okay so this will not work on the micro store version or microsoft store version make sure you're on the browser version and make sure you also don't run your roblox application as administrator okay so make sure you just open it normally by clicking over here and then of course you just load up any game then just find a script for that game okay so now that we're into the game what i'm going to firstly do is attach um, just like this it might say inject they're both the same thing and you can see it is now injecting and we're ready okay over here this is where you paste your script okay so this is where you can just get any script of your choice you copy that script and paste it here okay so to copy it you just do Control a 
that will highlight it and then you do control c which will copy it and then you can go anywhere you want to paste it so for example we want to paste it into the executor so you do control and v and that will paste the script for you just like this okay and then the last step is of course to press execute and that will go ahead and execute your script so let me just move the executor out of the way and here we go so this is pretty much the script now we're loaded in i will go ahead and load up my config and there's already <laughs> there's already a cheater in here so phantom force is is it's pretty much ruined by cheaters now unfortunately luckily the cheater is on our team and he has just been kicked which is good okay so we can take over from here and yeah so that's pretty much how executors work guys it's not you know complicated at all um you just grab an executor that you want then grab a script for that executor uh, oh sorry just grab any script for any game put it into the executor make sure you've attached into the game you press execute and that will go ahead and load up your script that you've chosen into the game okay so some of the errors now that we uh, i forgot to mention previously is for example if you're using kernel and it asks you to install a vpn um what you need to do is again it's in my kernel video the download link to a vpn um you can simply go ahead and copy the vpn link set it up and the instructions are you know within the video i'm not sure if i'm lagging or if it's a server that's lagging uh, but there's really bad lag right yeah so it is the server people are saying lag in the chat um but yeah so you pretty much just go ahead and use the vpn if you're getting an error a vpn error with kernel for example um some other errors that you can experience is uh your antivirus might say that the program has been deleted um that is again to do with the antivirus and the executor not liking the antivirus or the antivirus not liking the executor okay so it's the exact same thing what you want to do is just make sure your antivirus is off like i showed at the very start and that will allow you to simply use the executor without any problems okay um what other errors could i think of some of the other errors that you could possibly experience um might be uh to do with some corrupted files for example for kernel um if you launch kernel and it gives you like i'm not sure what the exact text is but if it's not to do with, with the vpn then it might be to do with some corrupted files okay so in that case what you need to do is delete your kernel folder and re-download the uh, bootstrapper and run the bootstrapper again and that will go ahead and fix the issue for you uh, and you should be able to use kernel properly again if you do have any questions you can join the discord server that will be in the description um, and you can mention the questions to me i will be setting up a ticket system very soon as well so you can simply create a ticket and have a private support system over there um, which is a lot more um, beneficial for you and you get faster responses there than to you know through the comments for example um and yeah so that's pretty much it now i will show you one last thing let's go ahead and leave that game you want to come over to your desktop and once you do have your executor folder so for example this is my executor folder right here okay um what you want to do is go into your virus and threat protection just like that and go into manage settings make sure this is still off if you do turn this on the executor will get deleted eventually so just scroll all the way down go ahead and click on add or remove exclusions click on add an exclusion choose folder choose desktop and just choose the location of the executor so these three are executors so for example if i want to do it with delta i'll go ahead and single click on delta make sure you don't open the folder just go and single click it so it's highlighted and then click select folder make sure it's added in here um, over here you can see delta has been added and you can remove it if you want to later on as well but make sure you've got it added here and that means your antivirus will not delete the folder and then you can go up here and turn on real-time protection again and your executor will still be able to launch without any problems just like that okay so that's pretty much how this um you know whole thing works how you set up executors how you use scripts within executors um, hopefully you did enjoy the video if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching